couple new pieces for our gym. Also, uh, where we want to update the home workout plan. We're always kind of updating, refining, making it easier to understand. Um, but lately, I've been wanting to switch up a couple things. So we got these bands, all different sizes. But damn, that's one heavy duty band. Do you see the thickness of this? That's crazy. I think this is the biggest one. Yeah, so all, all kinds of sizes, even very thin ones for beginners all the way to advanced. I'm excited to use them. I got a taste of it. He showed me a new idea he had and it looks good. So we got our beginner bands. Yeah, five levels. Super excited to do this. I, I can't wait to use it. I love I love trying new things. Why not? <laughs> they are going to destroy me. It's nice they all came with uh, individual bands too. You guys know I use these as finishers, so that's nice. Each set came with one. Of course, we'll link them. We always link everything, so if you guys are interested. So there we have it, some new babies. Bands always make me cry. Not literally, but yeah, they're intense, very intense. Anyways, we're gonna start today a uh, little bit of jump rope, some cardio. I've been doing very little cardio every, almost every day. I've only missed one day in the last five days or six days. I can't remember exactly. I suck with dates and times and yeah, but I've, I've been pretty active. My leanest, even though I'm still at my heaviest, <laughs> but I'm feeling good, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, let's begin. <clears throat>
scared I'm gonna drop it on my face. <laughs> shop like this in a while shop like this meaning actually buy everything you need in one shopping haul um, rather than going to the store every day and buying two things <laughs> we got to get better at that because I hear or our neighbor tells us that the winters here are pretty bad we get more snow um, so let's get started we got some pretty good goodies right we're hungry though <sighs> never shop when you're hungry all right we picked up eggs just plain eggs <laughs> uh, what do we have here Baby, you always screw up my shopping haul. So we got donuts. He bought donuts. Um, thick spaghetti. We really like the spaghetti with the other um, good food finds we showed you guys with the shrimp that comes with all that sauce and then you just add your, your uh, pasta or rice, whatever you choose. We don't do bacon. I'm not, we were hungry. Yeah, we were definitely hungry. He picked up some bacon. He said he was craving eggs with like a sprinkle of bacon or something. I don't know, that's weird because you don't like bacon. You pick it out of everything. A sandwich comes with bacon, he's like sitting there picking it all out. <laughs> yeah, you buy bacon, very nice. Uh, I picked out mushrooms with cheese and uh, spinach. I absolutely love spinach, cheese, and mushrooms. So hey, you can't really go wrong. Super quick to make, we just pop it in our little uh, oven. Not the big oven, because we haven't used it. It's really crappy, we're hoping to buy new appliances. Um, some chicken. 
oh my god guys this cereal it's awesome it is 12 grams of protein uh, plant protein and I tried the cinnamon one which is 11 grams of protein still pretty good I'll go ahead and grab that one tastes amazing but the fact that it is it has protein in it to help you reach your goals makes it even better so I haven't given this one a shot we just bought it um, but this one's really good we got jewel bread and it's very fresh and soft. Um, hubby has been craving, where did you get this from, Ali? Uh, harvest potato soup, rich and creamy. So he got this and then he's like, I want the jewel bread. So that's what happened. Kind of excited about it too. I like potatoes. Uh, we got English muffins. Now we have one that's double protein, seven grams of protein in this one. It's an oatmeal with cinnamon one. Um, and then this is a lighter one, uh, only 100 calories. I like this when you're kind of hungry and, and you need calories, but you don't have very much left. This kind of fills you. Um, so we got that. These are our salsa ingredients. We got jalapenos, um, tomatoes, tomatillos. <laughs> I'm just looking at him like, ah. Um, and that's pretty much the three ingredients we use for salsa. He picked up some Polish ham, slicely thin. What's up with you and all the meat here? <laughs> you got bacon, chicken, and, and turkey. Um, cucumber. It's a lifesaver. You gotta always have a cucumber because sometimes I'm super hungry and I finished all my calories and this is really filling. So, cucumber. Moving on. Valentina, because it is a must in this house. <laughs> Put it on everything. Jalapenos, these are really good on nachos and pizza. Very good. I like this brand though, right? Doggy food. She eats well too. <laughs> if you're curious, that's what she eats. And it's the filet mignon flavor with bacon and potato. It's 900. Oh my god, isn't that crazy? Yeah, like it says 829 calories in this little poor dog. She doesn't even get to enjoy a feast. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is like a feast for her. And we even put dry food in there, mix it around. So it's she's probably having about a thousand calories. Yeah. We have all fruit. This is uh, no added sugar. It is literally all fruit. Totally love it. Um, put it on your English muffins. If you got a little extra fat, put some butter on it first and then put this in. Mmm, yum. Tortillas. Kind of a common thing for us. Uh, cheese, Italian. We never really venture out past Colby Jack and mozzarella, uh, but I got a recipe that I'm very curious to try, which I will share with you guys, and it would call for Italian cheese. So hopefully it comes out really good. We got turkey sausages for the English muffins. And the turkey, we get turkey because the uh, fat to protein ratio is better. So you get seven grams of fat for 12 grams of protein, not bad. Now, we've got tuna, more tuna. I just came across a recipe that I really wanna try. Um, I'm not gonna say it because I'll just show you guys when I do it. Um, but yes, tuna, good source of protein. Then we have these V8 juices. This one is a black cherry apple. Everything, there's no added sugar. Um, now the thing with this is, keep in mind, it's always better to juice with fiber. This, they take the fiber out so it's not as nutritious. Um, because of that reason, you're literally just getting simple carbs here. Like it's just a shitload of simple carbs. This one's a lighter one, 50 calories. But the reason for getting this um, is because we have like we have like a kid's superfood. Um, it's greens, it's all your veggies in here. And well, it kind of tastes bitter. <laughs> we can't expect it to taste good. It's got all the good stuff in there. So we want to try mixing it maybe like four ounces of juice and see if that makes it taste better. I like it. Like this, this one that we use, Super Greens, it's actually pretty good. It tastes pretty sweet. I tried it with the Trader Joe's juice, um, but it was like way too sweet. 
so I wanted something a little bit lighter. That's why I went with the lighter one. And then we have a uh, plant-based protein that I like, and it has a superfood. This is the protein I've been taking if I haven't reached my protein at the end of the night, and I really, really like it. But I like it more to know that I'm getting superfood from it as well as protein. So um, going to be in the yeah, I'll link everything in, in the description if, if you guys are curious. Uh, the kids one is actually really good. It's just that it's bitter. Like, but it, if you taste like I, I licked my finger from the powder and it was actually sweet bitter, but it needs you something. Find the right juice. Yeah, th that's why we we're gonna experiment and see which one we like to give her um, and which one she'll take. But yeah, so that's about it. It's not that bad. I felt like it was a lot more, right? In the cart, it looked a lot more. <laughs> yeah, we were. Okay, so we're gonna show you one recipe now. All right, so I feel like we used to cook a lot and somehow we lost that and used to eat such good things. So, we're gonna start doing that again and I'm hoping to show you guys more Enjoy of them. The videos so we remember, right? Yeah, we should just, exactly. Just record everything and we'll remember. Um, he's been saying let's do like a photo diary of food to keep in the, in the kitchen, like our own cookbook, but like not really just our ideas of food that we really like. Um, to remind ourselves when we're kind of stuck and we don't know what to make or eat. This is a new recipe, sounds good. Hope it's good, because I'm really hungry. Um, it just requires one egg. Um, marinara sauce, which we really love this one. It's the four cheese. Tastes so good. It's like perfect for everything. Even mozzarella like cheese, right? Like the sticks. Um, so very good. Um, the cheese, I chose Italian um, because it's supposed to be like a little pizza. Uh, I I don't even know what, it, what does it taste like. Oh. Tastes very good. Um, and then we have light multigrain muffins that are uh, getting toasty right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to make breakfast pizzas. That's what they're called. Um, I'll put the macros on the screen for them, but I kind of just hope that they taste really good though. I've been wanting like breakfast ideas, even though we don't eat breakfast, but mind you, at two o'clock in the afternoon, we can eat breakfast if we want. Um, so let me get my muffins. I weighed everything out already. I'm only using, uh, in my serving size, not even half, it's 0.35. <laughs> when you start doing macros, you start getting fancy with your numbers. Um, I didn't need the whole serving. I didn't even need half of it. So uh, just go ahead and start spreading your marinara sauce. Oh my God, I think I could use half of it, right? Because the bread, oh no, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. I guess after our taste test, I'll know. I'm waiting for you to see. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to see your reaction before I even bother making mine. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Now we put our egg. In the recipe, it did call for... Um, pepperoni but I don't really like pepperoni so deal breaker for me <laughs> you throw some sausage you know. I mean you could if you want could if you want yeah I don't know if I want but ah that's a cheese good I like it cheesy and now we just pop these back in the oven um, so I'm gonna pop these in really quick all right now I just put some aluminum foil on it so that it doesn't we weren't doing it before because we were lazy and it kind of made a big mess and i know that cheese is gonna melt all right it's hot because i put the uh english muffins in there before so now just cook it so that cheese is melted <laughs> when you're hot, really hungry and you can't wait for your food to finish I think it's good though. It's Cheese looks melted, huh? It's 3:20. What's so it's 3:20? Oh, the time is 3:20. See, I'm not even processing things right. <laughs> All right, so it's done. It's pretty heavy. The English muffins are toasted nicely. I just gotta wait a little because it's really hot though, <laughs> and then I'll I'll taste test it. <laughs> and now I'm waiting for it to cool down. <laughs> Jeez, all this waiting. Now I see why we don't cook at home too much. <laughs> Not a good excuse though. Not a good excuse. Fingers crossed this tastes good because it was pretty easy to make. Mm. 
Oh my god, it's so good. I will let you bite it, but then you gotta wait like 10 minutes <laughs> for yours. <laughs> no, it's really good. It, it tastes like pizza. Yeah, worth it. I wanna just keep eating even though I'm supposed to be vlogging. <laughs> but yes, it's very worth it. I would do it again. Maybe find cool things to add to it. I really like spinach. I wanted to do spinach, um, but I only found like really huge bags of it and it goes bad so quickly. But I think spinach with it would be perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> um, anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. Bye guys. <laughs>